In this lesson, we're going to look at an application problem where we're asked to find the percentage of a total. So hopefully by now you understand that percents are really for comparing um, what you have to some sort of whole. And um, in this case, we're comparing um, a particular purchase to the total purchases um, made at the store. So it says Kelly bought a dozen eggs for $3.59 apples for a total of $2.52, and ice cream for $4.50. What percentage of the total purchase were the eggs? All right, so we're comparing the eggs to the total. Right? So let's kind of think about what that's gonna give us, right? We're gonna get eggs, you know, cost of eggs, of course, divided by total, right? That's what it means to compare the two. Now, when we do this, what we're going to get is um, not a percentage directly, right? We're going to get the decimal form, the decimal form of the percent, right? So, uh, you know, think of it like this, you know, if, if we had easier numbers, right? If we had um, eggs were $1, and you spent a total of two dollars, right? It would be one divided by two, right? But what would that give you? Let me just write this right up here. All right, what would that give you? That would give you, when you divided, 0 0.5, right? But we understand that one half is the same as 50%, right? So this is clearly the decimal form of 50%. So when I take eggs, divide it by the total, I'll get the decimal form of the percent or the decimal form of the answer that I want to give. All right. So to figure this out, I'm need to find the total, which means just add up the different purchases. So when I do, I let's see, I end up with 1061. So what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to take the $3.59 and divide it by $10.61. And again, this is going to give us the decimal form of the percentage that we're trying to find. Okay. Now, uh, before we actually perform the division, um, let's understand how the number that we get from dividing these is going to compare to the answer we want to give. So the answer we'll want to give is going to be something like this, right? We can see that the eggs cost less, um, of, you know, obviously than the total. Um, so we should get a percentage that's less than 100% for sure. So I'll probably have two digits here, a decimal point, and since it's asking us to round to a tenth of a percent, I know that I'm going to round it so that I have one digit after that decimal point, right? So round to a tenth of a percent, my answer should look like this. However, understand that when we divide 359 by 1061, we're not going to get this. What we're going to get is something that looks like this. Okay, and of course the reason for this is because the decimal form of a percent always has a decimal point that's to the left two places from where it would be in the percentage. So to round to the nearest tenth of a percent, I am going to actually need to round to the nearest thousandth in this division problem. So let's keep that in mind as we proceed. So we're gonna take 359 divided by 1061. But remember, of course, that uh, when you are dividing by a decimal, you can't leave the decimal point in the divisor, so you move it two places to the right in both numbers. So the division problem that we really have here is 359 divided by 
1061. All right, now 1061, of course, does not go into 359, so I'm going to put a zero up here, put a decimal place and add a zero there, and then put that decimal point in the quotient. 1061 goes into 3590 three times, and three times one is three, three times six is 18, three times zero plus one is one, and three times one is three. So we subtract there. Do our subtraction and borrowing, and we end up with 407. Of course, we keep going, drop a zero down, and let's see, 1061 is not going to fit in here four times. That'll be a little more than 4070, so again, we'll have a three up here. 3183. And we got 10 minus 3 is 7. Borrow here, we have a 6, um, but we'll have to borrow and make it a 16. And then this thing here, let me use a different color because it's getting a little sloppy here. 40 will turn into 39. And so we get 8, 8, and that's it. So 887. Okay, so again, add another 0, drop it down. See, 1061 goes into 880, uh, sorry, 8,870. Um, I think that's going to fit in eight times, actually. So we're going to get 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 0 plus 4 is 4. And 8 times 1 is 8. So we have 10 minus 8 is 2. And of course, we had to borrow and borrow one more time. So 16 minus 8 is 8. 7 minus 4 is 3. And we'll drop the 0 down. Of course, we're going one digit past where we know we need to round to because we need to see whether to bump this 8 up or leave it alone. But 1061 is only going to go in here three times. So at this point, we can stop. We know what uh, we have in the thousandths place. And we know that because there's a 3 to the right of that thousandths place, we're going to round this to 0 0.338. And so, of course, to convert it to a percent, we know we're moving the decimal point to the right two places, so our answer is 33.8%.